So here I am again today at Colesville to finish up our talk on native grasses. And today I wanted to show off a cool season grass that prefers wetter soils. Um, and that's this Campsia cespitosa featured here. I've been talking a lot about how great our native grasses are at being drought resistant. Um, so I wanted to show something that is great for um, the cooler season and wetter soils. Um, it's also really showy. Uh, this is, has a magnificent plume that it gets. Uh, it's almost 20 inches long and it can vary in colors from gold and silver. Uh, purple and green so it acts as an amazing cut flower as you might imagine um, and those plumes uh, if left up songbirds will visit them they do love them um, and it's a great host plant just like I've always said about our native grasses uh, for pollinators so a uh, great addition to any garden if you're trying to bring more butterflies in so an overall really great plant for like I said wetter soils tolerates full sun to part shade um, it will handle kind of woodland environments, looks great in naturalized areas or meadows. I think it looks great mixed into flower beds. Um, you see Piet Adolf use this one a lot in his uh, garden designs, and it's quite dreamy in late summer as it goes to plume. Um, and then it turns kind of a golden color in the fall between the foliage and the plumes. So overall, really beautiful, great native, uh, worth mentioning this week, Discampsia cespitosa.